Hello guys. So today I am on time, which is very good. So today I will answer your questions and I know uh, we should have a lot of questions today for Saturday, 28 July 2018. And as usual, we try to speak about whatever uh, thing comes with questions so I'll be waiting for a few minutes until the guy comes so um, in general the market is going up except for uh, some uh, gap downs for Facebook and Twitter which is uh, dramatic and uh, but if you go and see uh, Dow Jones, for example, you find that it's fine. There is no problem with that. So um, let me go and check Dow Jones and we see. Okay. Uh, TJ. Oh, let's see. Another. Hello, uh, Ahsan. How are you? How are you, Rahmatullah Modi? Hello. Thank you for coming. Let me see something here. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Live events. Okay. Uh, Ahsan, how are you? I am very good. Thank you very much for asking. Yes, uh, Rahmatullah, see. In trading, you should risk money. Since we don't know the future, especially in earnings, I lost also money from Twitter and from Facebook. But, you know, um, it's part of the game. Now, what if... If I tell you this, Rahmatullah Modi, what if I tell you this? What if you have uh, gap apps in Twitter and Facebook? Will you be happy? Okay? I think you will be, you will be happy, right? So, uh, being happy when you won, when you won and, and um, being uh, sad, uh, when you lose money, this is not a good way to do trading. Understand this is not the end of trading. You should have winners and losers always. And um, uh, when I, uh, I, I sent an, a warning and a notice to my subscribers in my golden and silver subscription, and I told them the there is the earnings and you have to do two things okay so let's uh, 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 see uh, hello nasa nasa how are you uh, clown with the twitter account how are you uh, wise man thank you for coming ahmed ayub thank you thank you very much for uh, coming now and i told them that Facebook and Twitter and Apple and other stocks are having their earnings and you should decide because I, I can't decide for other people's uh, uh, trades. I can't decide. This is, this is your decision. Either to stay and hold, maybe you can, you can have a gap up or gap down. This is, this is in general what, what we have from earnings for these kind of stocks. Now, if you hold, it means you have risk. 
you can have a gap up you can make a lot of money that's that's okay also but you have a risk to lose a lot of money and this is what happened to uh, Facebook and Twitter and if you if you can imagine if you can imagine why they don't they get both of them 20% down do you do you have an idea why is that it means this number was calculated before okay for me for me it is not only the news it's i think a mutual friend has sold after the news when he saw the stock going ten dollars down he, t he took the opportunity to sell because maybe he has bought it last year or the other year and he want to to get his profits before things becomes worse that's why what i see uh, uh, in the afternoon i see that the after the news the market has gone down like ten dollars or fifteen dollars for facebook but it didn't stop and then it goes slowly going down going down it means someone big was selling or other investors were selling it means something and understand that at 20 percent it stops the next morning which is thursday in the morning nothing happens nothing happens in the morning no no buying no selling and then during the day nothing happens also the stock stays where it, where it was like uh, 176 or 75 it, it doesn't change that much the next day also now twitter is also the same thing they took 20 percent of this stock price this is something that it is uh it's not a, there is nothing that comes just like this from the market there is something going on okay and they see maybe facebook has has gone so wide for this three or four months and twitter also has been doing so good in these three or four months so some people wants to take their profit that's it so um uh nazir rochi bonsoir comment allez-vous uh wise men uh, said uh, some mutual fans and friend facebook no it's just uh, see they make a lot of money from facebook during uh, six months or one year or two years and they see it's time to get out it's it is just uh, like this okay it's not uh, it's not a big deal all the big stocks have some gap downs that are so big all because a lot of people are looking at them and a lot of pressure on this kind of stocks uh food food networks uh, salam how are you uh clown with twitter account said i think that facebook will cover even though the very new but they don't have any competition no uh understand that competition always is there for facebook facebook competition is google because facebook is competing with google on the ad market and you you understand that uh, uh, the beginning of the year they do a trial for uh, for facebook uh, because of the ads because of the uh, they can manipulate the market because they can manip manipulate politics but understand that google do the same thing okay uh, if you want to target people to uh, to advertise either politicians or uh, uh, businessmen or any any kind of place you can do that in facebook and google so why they don't go to google they go to facebook okay so it's just a matter of politics and money and you know uh, facebook is be is becoming uh, th is threatening the whole world because it controls the whole world okay one guy with 26 years old he controls 5 billion people uh, because he can do whatever he wants okay it is his facebook and you know you know what what will happen and 
clown with Twitter account said, we're gonna have sector rotations, money will flow to financials and energy. So I, I have no idea where uh, the money will flow, but we will be looking at the industries and sectors and see what's going on in the, in the future. Yes, it's, it's always behind the scene, but you know, uh, when something becomes to go up, you can see it. Um, in industries, you can, you can begin to see these things. Uh, Hali, uh, Alexandro, Salam, how are you, uh, brother? Uh, you say clown with Twitter account, Google gap up 15%. I, I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, see uh, Google. But it's very good. Wise men, when do you swing trend, Karim? You don't care if the stock is growth or dividend. No, um, um, most of the time I see how the stock moves. I don't see if it is growth or dividend. Because this growth and dividend is just the terms that we use. Sometimes we find a stock that it, is, that it is growth stock and it is a dividend stock, like Apple, for example, okay? Like Google, like Amazon. It means they, a price appreciation is very, very good. And, um, and they give dividend also. For example, Apple uh, give dividend, right? But it is growth. It means this stock can go so, so good. That's why Warren Buffett has bought it. Okay? This is uh, something new in the market because Warren Buffett has never uh, thought to buy like this electronic thing or because he said he doesn't understand. But I don't know why at his age right now he look at uh, Apple as something uh, that he should buy. And it is in his portfolio, I guess. Okay? So, uh, understand that um, day traders, especially hedge funds, when they saw uh, an opportunity to short sell a stock. Now, you, you can follow this. For me, because I'm not doing day trading, I am not following um, the news per se. It means I follow them and see and act on them, okay? Because if you if you look at, uh, for example, if you look at Facebook, all the actions happen after the market close. That's it. And I make a video. If you uh, if you go to my channel, uh, you uh, just a few days ago, you will find a video I made about how at seven uh, fifty nine, everything has been done. They shorted the stock and they took $44 from the stock itself. That's it. The next day, it means Thursday or Friday, nothing happened. You see that uh, things happen on the same time because of the news. Okay? Hello, uh, Artkov. I haven't seen you for a long time. Thank you for coming. Uh... Wall Street don't want to see America too strong. Probably will see the sell off at all tech. Now, uh, see, um, don't confuse yourself with Wall Street. Wall Street is about money. They don't care if the stock market goes up or it goes down. For them, it is money. Let's say, for example, you, uh, when the news comes, uh, and it was very bad news and you see that the stock is going down. You can short also the stock for uh, half an hour, one hour, two hours, and then you exit. You do the same as they do. Okay? But uh, investors in general, uh, in general um, they can't do nothing. They can't act because each day, sometimes we have a news, so they can't they can't uh, decide for a stock because of the news. Understand that. But for example, someone who bought Facebook, he bought it for, as Warren Buffett said, he will buy it for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. It means he will buy it for life. He's not buying Facebook 
right now it's going down maybe next year the other year it will be doubling or going up or so they don't care that much about fluctuations although it's a big fluctuation but they don't care that much okay so uh, all the big stocks have some um, gap ups and gap downs all all of them you you will you will never find a stock with always gap ups never okay it's just because uh it's just because of the news okay so uh another uh, another question Karim, if you get dividend swing trading, do you put that dividend back into the stock? Yes, I will buy more shares, okay? I will buy more shares, but uh, my portfolio is, is mixed with dividend and growth. And whatever I have, I will put it more into my portfolio because, see, it's, it's a good thing to have your account bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and buy different kind of stocks you don't buy only uh, technology stocks or um, uh, utilities stocks or whatever stocks you should always try to diversify the thing now if it is a bearish market most of the most of the stocks will go down okay so diversification is not a big deal you should do shorting the whole market or something like that. But the market right now, it's still trading into orange. There is nothing that shows that it is a bear market. Okay? So until, uh, until we see something new in the market, until now there is nothing new. That's why uh, for me, I am not worried about gap downs or, or gap ups or whatever. So for me... The thing is, I continue to trade, that's that's the main thing I do. I, I do always, so many years is the same thing. I, I Whenever I get gap up or gap down, it's the same thing, so I continue to trade. This is the, the main thing that you should put into account. And there are some people who are just, uh, they want just to make money. If they don't make money or they lose little money, they get, they give up and they stop trading. And they say, oh, trading is not for me or investing is not for me. This is a kind of mindset that you will never do anything in your life. It means whenever you have problem, you stop. <laughs> you, should, you should solve your problems, okay? And bear the hits. Uh, one of the guys, um, I think uh, someone uh, uh, sent me an email and say, I got a lot of pensions these days. Because maybe of Facebook or Twitter or the other stocks, I say, you in order to be a boxer, you should get pensions from opponent. I have never seen a, a like a, a boxer who has never been hit by someone. Okay, you should be hit, but you should be so strong to continue uh, the thing. Um, Vincent, Vincent, thank you very much for coming. You say, good evening, teacher. I have returned. I have taken your training and have been trading for one year. I incorporate your strategy and develop my own strategy. And I am profitable, I must say. Th thank you very much. Um, uh, and he said, I bought two stocks last week and it got, it got up. 10% and I sold it. Thank you very much, Vincent, for your testimonials. Yes, understand that my uh, training is very, very basic. It's very strong, but it's very basic. If you want to add whatever criteria about the sector or about the price or about something else, you can add it. There is no problem with that. And this is how we develop things. It means you, do, you shouldn't stay just with the same thing. You can add whatever you like. Okay, if it, if it works for you and you make more money, that's, that's the thing. Um, clone with Twitter account said, Kareem, Facebook has good growth. Numbers of users about 1 billion. Wall Street see that the number wouldn't grow to more. 
I worry about Apple. If Apple gap down, the entire market will sink. Yes. Yes. Apple is a very, very big stock in the Dow Jones. If it gap down and the, the whole market, especially in Dow Jones, will go down. And if it, maybe it will go to a bearish thing if they want to. But uh, we will never know, okay? So for me, I don't, I usually, I will not have predictions. The only prediction I'm telling you is there is a gap up or gap down. Most of the time for this kind of stocks. So I always don't uh, make predictions or say to people, oh, you should uh, hold or you should sell. It depends on each person uh, like a uh, uh, decision what to do. If you are scared, if you, if you don't want to stay, uh, you, you just uh, sell your shares and you watch. Okay. Now, if you have a gap down, you, you are okay because maybe you have made some profits and you are out of the trouble. Or if the stock has gap up, you can buy it again and continue if the stock goes up. So it's, it, it depends on each person decision. That's why it is a time that you should, you yourself, take a decision. Don't ask anyone about your decision. You should take your own decision. And this is what I am always teaching. Okay? Earnings no one knows. Okay? You say, oh, because, uh, because Facebook has gone down, Twitter will be go going down. No. It, it could be the opposite. But because it happens like this, uh, uh, just someone right now, he told me, if you each day, you go to the market and you see gap up and gap down, you will find a lot of stocks gap up, a lot of stocks go down in the stock market. So no way to predict, but you can see the price. Yes. Okay. You can see the price. For example, uh, when it says after the market close, you can check the price and wait. In your broker, you can you can watch the price without looking at the at the news. Just watch the price. If it's going up very quick, it means that it is a good thing. But if it is a bad thing, the market the the stock will be sinking, but very very quick. This could be this could be not taking uh, one second or two seconds. It it takes less sometimes. Because a lot of people have large orders. Especially, for example, uh, hedge fund. Hedge fund, he will not uh, 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 sell short 1,000 shares or 2,000. He will share, he will do a lot because whenever the news comes, he will do that. And if other people, they have the same opinion, the market or the stock will sink. And that's it. Uh, Wiseman said, long-term investing, there is no stop loss. So Karim, how it is long-term investing, not gambling? Now, uh, I will tell you, I will tell you about, um, about investing. Um, and you say it's not, it's not gambling. No, investing you focus on the company. If you believe that the company will become bigger and bigger and bigger, you bet on this company, but you are not going to bet on one company. You should bet on many companies. At least, at least if one you lose, you can make profit from the others. Okay. This is, uh, it is not, it is betting on something. It is not gambling per se, because gambling is when you throw all your money and it is gone. This is gambling. Gambling, it has no reason. It means you buy a ticket, you put a number and that's it. And most of the time you lose. But in investing, most of the people make money, but through, through years, five years, 10 years, 20 years, like Warren Buffett said, 
it means it's like 20 years it means you should stay with your stocks now when you when you bet for the long long term you are not going to see the news or the fluctuations of the day or the fluctuation of the market but you see the long term okay you will see the long term there is risk yes always there is risk in the stock market now people who don't like risk you should go to do other business that has less risk and I give you always a, I always give you an example of, a, of a less risk for example a car dealer they go and buy cars cheaper and from auctions because they know the average car how it is sold in their region and they bought it cheap and they sell it and they sell it with the market but in stocks you can't do that in stocks facebook it's uh, 176 you can't find it in uh, in another place with one 120 dollars or 130 and you bought it from here and you sell it from here and you make a profit okay so the value of stocks are always what you see and they change okay um vincent said from your training i learned to become independent i i rely on no one but myself i search stocks myself and pick the best stock to trade thank you very much vincent and this is what what is all my teaching is about is just to become independent it means you know what you are doing you know how to buy you know how to sell you know your risk that's it what you need in stock trading okay you need only that you don't need more you don't need uh, uh, to be a magician or to know the future of stocks because no one is doing that and stop predicting for stocks yes you can bet for a company because you you have something you have facts about the company the company is doing great uh, uh, it is doing good in the market it, it is making more and more money each year so when you bet on the company you have some facts this is investing okay that's that's the good thing uh hello uh chris de guzman thank you very much for coming i haven't seen you for a long time uh thank you duna how are you thank you very much for coming uh bill bill Muja, thank you very much uh you say bill bill Muja, but you still put stop loss right below yes now this is for trading it's not uh, it's not investing in investing when you when you are when you buy a stock and you stay for um and you stay for um five years or ten years or twenty years you don't need a stop loss because you are betting on the, the whole company and you are betting and this company becomes bigger and bigger and bigger but for us when we buy in swing trading we buy our momentum it means we think that the stock will go up now if the stock doesn't go up and it's going down so we begin losing money so you should stop losing money on the spot because if you continue uh, losing money in each trade you will have no money to trade in a few months this is the this is the reason why we stop why we put stop loss um rahmatullah said second quarter earning they compare with last year second quarter earning or first earning now uh, each quarter each each quarter with with the same quarter second quarter with with the second quarter first with uh, with first but uh, understand that in earnings it is the analyst what they say and what the company said this is the most important thing that you should put in in mind and it is available online so the analysts they just predict how much the the, uh, the share can earn now this is real for the for the profits the real profits of the company not the stock 
okay it's not the stock from last year to this year and how much it makes no it is for the real earnings of the company it means the real money that they get from selling or from doing service okay uh thank you uh wise man uh sufian sufian said how many shares i must buy for a given stock and how many stocks i can buy with fifty thousand dollars for long investment this is this is sufian from algeria now uh sufian sufianu uh, please take the time and try to take my training because uh, what you ask right now is about uh, training it means uh, how to divide your account uh, how many stock you buy how many shares you buy are you are you going to do investing for the long run you should know the companies that you are doing i can for my from my um, uh, strategies you can know when to buy this kind of stocks not just to buy it at any time okay because the market now in america is is just in the middle we don't know if it's going down or it's going up so the following weeks or months it will show up so it's better to begin with a good move of the market if you put your fifty thousand dollars and next week or the other week all the stock market going down uh, you will be losing a lot of money so you should study my own training and since you have money fifty thousand dollars you can just take uh, my subscription which is just fifty five dollars a month take one month or two or three just understand the whole thing or you can go to check um, uh, training level 16 how to uh, trade uh, how to invest in dividend stocks and you can get ideas about how to do your investment because you should begin right since you are doing an investment for the long run you should do it right you should know about the companies because you you are doing uh, investing okay or you can uh, you can send me an email we can discuss this later um, here is my website just uh, get my website and this is my email i will put my email for you okay send me an email and we can discuss this because this is private and you are needing um, private information so okay so uh just uh, send me an email and we can dis discuss this in private because right now i'm just uh, giving general uh, um, education so and you you need specific information now Um, Bill Bill Muja, where do you find salad information? What is this uh, salad information? I don't understand. So can you uh, can you explain again what is this salad information? Uh, <laughs> maybe you maybe you have uh, spelled wrong the word, but I don't understand regarding stock market. So Bill Bill Muja, please write again, write again your question because I don't understand you what you what you what you mean. Um uh, Duna, you say I am good. Thank you very much, Duna, for coming. Clown with Twitter account, Wall Street knows the future. No. They don't know the future. They just because they are powerful, they can how see. I will let you know something very important right now clown with twitter account who can push facebook 
44 dollars down in few hours these people are strong they took 100 billion dollars understand in few hours they took all this money these guys they can do a lot in the market but when they go they can they can rip rip off the whole market as it happened in the bear market of 2008 so either you do the same as them and you follow them what they are doing if they sell short you should sell short but okay you you are weak they are strong they can go down they make more money and they can change reverse the stock and they go up and they will m make money also okay so wall street they don't know the future but because they are strong okay they are strong they can do whatever they want that's why they are very very powerful in one stock in few hours they took 100 billion dollars it's not million okay and and they say what i'm saying this is why what they say in the the news they took 100 billion from facebook so it's fifth of facebook one fifth it's 20 percent and they go to twitter and they take 20 uh, percent okay so it's a lot of money they took but they can't do it for the whole market but not yet okay i don't know what, what they are preparing but uh, you could you, we could see that in the future that's why if if the whole market is going down i will be going to short the whole market to short indexes to short sectors and if everything is going down you should do that in order to survive if you don't do that what will happen to you is you become like an investor and you begin losing money each week losing money losing money like what happened in 2008 where even Warren Buffett has lost 50% of his money so understand that Wall Street are strong and when they do something they don't do something each day they just they calculate these things and they do it at once they hit facebook they hit twitter they they have all already hit other stocks but sometimes also they uh, buy more when the news are good and they buy more and the people they come and they buy and they make a lot of money this is just because they are strong in the market and no one will stop them because in the stock market you can't stop these guys because they make the market and they make the rules so the rules are in their favor now let's say i'm, I'm just saying saying you something what happened for example if these guys if the stock market stops sh selling short what did happen to the market believe me you will never see uh 20 percent loss from a stock never because even if a, a mutual fund is selling he will be slow to sell he can he can just do like uh like uh like uh, those uh, short sellers and another thing i'm i'm telling you uh, another thing i'm telling you uh is that um polit politicians can't intervene with stock market they tried before but they don't succeed even the security exchange commission they can't do nothing because this is the rules of the market and the rules it is wall street who put these rules so understand that it's not you or i or another guy who can change these things now if there is no let's say there is no selling short if the news comes no one will be selling because of the news because the company is good what did happen for example i'm telling you what did happen to facebook or twitter nothing has happened they make money as usual there's no problem 
if there is even if there is slow in numbers it doesn't affect anything because they are making money you can see their money it's going up from one year to another year okay so the news and the short sellers and wall street guys this is what makes the fluctuation of the market the big fluctuations okay so it's not small let's say if if these guys there is no news the stock will not uh, lost 20% like this in few hours so you see um thank you uh, sufian sufiano for uh, for your questions thank you i, I know uh, try to contact me later and ask your questions and i will try to help you later in private uh let's see here thank you very much uh, sufian um uh, bill bill Muja, where do you find reliable information regarding the stock that you that you buy now uh bill bill Muja, see we we have uh, a way to scan stocks through stock screener according to my criteria and then we see other criteria in order to buy or not to buy so if you are interested you can just take the golden subscription 55 dollars a month and you can um, you can just uh, uh, study all the material and you will know everything what we are doing because right now here um, it is a general uh, education I'm trying to help as much as I can but if if you want the training you should go and begin to study now if you are interested you can go to my website and you can uh, just um, take training level one okay take training level one and just uh, study it and here is my email uh, you just send me an email or keep it okay this is my email keep it and then uh, contact me and I can show you where to go or what to order so um, another thing uh, Bill Bill Muja another thing that you should think about it are you doing swing trading it means following trends or are you investing so you should know what you are doing first so send me an email and we can discuss this in private because it's uh, it's uh, uh, something that you should know before you do anything in the market you should know what you are going to do now Vincent said uh, before your training I was afraid of the market but now I don't care if the bull or bear market I trade based on signal and my trading plan and set a stop loss I am no longer afraid yes Vincent I think you have reached a maturity and you are independent now and this is this is the good news it means you are not scared anymore of the market because if something happened in the market it's 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 not always a uh, earnings news sometimes we have national news we have international news sometimes we have good news about the company they just announce something and the market will be good for that company so don't be scared when you are scared you are you are always um, stressed out and you can't think wisely about your investment either trading or investing so you should think you decide what to do and just you do it now the results is about the market the market can give you according to when you bought the stock because I'm telling you something you can do you can go to any stock and you see a trend and you ask yourself when should you enter this stock okay so it depends it depends how uh, what are your criteria to enter a stock and to buy this stock thank you very much uh, Vincent for your testimonials thank you for your experience 
So uh, Vincent says, stock market is not magic, it's math. Thank you very much. Because a lot of people, they are very suspicious about the market. The market are people. Now, most of these people are illogical. When they want, when it is a time for the, the buy, they sell. When it is for the sell, they buy. They do mistakes. And since they don't, they don't train themselves, they don't have any help from anyone. So they continue to do mistakes and they think their, uh, their thing will change. In the market, if you are doing the same mistakes, you will get the same results. Always. And if you get uh, uh, something and it's unexpected, it's just a gift from the market, but the market will take it back because you can't preserve this gift. Um, is that a Facebook good stock to buy right now? Uh, see, uh, Bill Bin Muja, see, the stock has lost 20, uh, 44 um, dollars just uh, these two days or three days. We don't give recommendations here where to buy or where to sell. Now, if you if you want to um, to know, you should get a training. As I told you, uh, uh, Bill 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 Muja, you should take, for example, take training level thirteen. Training level thirteen, how to buy from support line, and try to see if Facebook is a good buy, yes or no. Because there are some criteria that you should see in the stock. So here, I'm giving general education. I'm not giving you what to buy, what to sell. You should be independent. Because when you take my training, and you ask me questions, and you begin to practice, you will understand by yourself when to buy or when to sell. You will be independent. You don't, you don't ask me anymore. Because you, you are good. Uh, you are good at it, okay? So it's very, it's very good thing, Bill uh, Bill Muja. Just go and take, for example, uh, the golden subscription, and there are thirteen training levels. You just study them one by one, and ask questions and practice. Whenever you have questions, just send me an email, and that's it. And you begin learning because it takes time to learn and to practice. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Bill Bill Muja, thank you. Let's see. Um, Clown with Twitter account said, Are you talking about hedge funds? Because a lot of hedge make uh, most money from short selling. Yes. Clown with Twitter account, I'm telling you the truth. Short selling, the one who do good with it is the hedge funds because they are big traders uh, managing big money. It means these guys, uh, it's like sharks with a whale. For example, a whale is dying or they kill it and they just come and eat okay but understand that if someone is uh, is uh, mistaking he could he could lose a lot of money so i'm not saying that all hedge funds are good there are some that they lose a lot of money and they get fired so you understand uh, there is a fund they are just a manager he gets he gets uh, uh, a percentage from the profit and from the management. This is how it works. Now, if they do mistakes and they lose money, they will fire him. Okay? So understand that not all the hedge funds are good. Some are bad and they lose money. But understand that hedge funds do sell selling short. And they do it very good because they have a lot of money. Now, the other guys, mutual fans, they can't 
by the law they can't sell short because they are the market they own all the stocks of the market how can they go and sell short if they get sold short the whole market will be nothing like uh, like what did happen in 1929 this is what it happened 1929 at that time uh, anyone can sh sell short there is no rules the security exchange commission comes in 1935 to stop all this thing uh, for some people, okay? For mutual funds, for the other stuff. But not for traders. At the time, uh, traders, anyone can uh, have, uh, uh, can do a pool of money and he can have millions of dollars in his hands and he begin to trade with, with, uh, uh, with a contract. Okay? With a contract, it means uh, they, they have rules, what to buy, what to sell, how much he gets when it is good, how much he... He owes when it is bad. This is what they do. That, that's why when, we, when you speak about hedge funds, this is because they have a lot of money. Now, understand, how can Facebook uh, lose 100, 100 billion dollars? If I ask you, in order to make 100 billion dollars, a company, like Walmart, like big companies, they stay the whole year working in order to make this 100 billion, 200 million dollars. And with 12,000 stores and international stores, inside stores, all this working to get this money. But these guys get 100 billion dollars in a few hours. You see that? You see how, how strong these people can do? But understand that when something collapsing, all the people, they come and short. But understand, why they don't risk and they hold the stock? It means uh, they hold for tomorrow. No, they don't hold. I see that these guys have covered their short at the end of the last hour. The last hour, let's say from 6.30 to 7.59, uh, they cover their short in order to take their profits and they are out of the market. Because in the morning, if they hold, what if some mutual fund and they come and they begin to buy Facebook because it is so cheap at that price? What did happen to them? They will lose all their money they 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 make that's why short sellers are day traders understand that they are not uh, people who do swing trading and they and they uh, do something today and they complete it tomorrow no they complete it in the morning at 9 30 because they see what's going on but they don't hold for the night because there are some mutual fans they can come at any moment and buy facebook but this has not, has not come. Okay, so that's why uh, hedge funds, they are day traders, mostly. Now, um, um, Bill, Bill, Bill Mujer said, is that uh, Charles Schwab's good trade platform for beginners? Now, um, uh, for brokers, you should compare them. You should compare the big brokers, see the commissions, and see the fees. And try to see the fees page and compare them. So I can't tell you, oh, just go to uh, Charles uh, Schwab, just go there and uh, apply. No, you should do your homework. So the criteria you can find them in my uh, uh, in my channel. Uh, put uh, brokers comparison in my channel. You find uh, uh, I made before uh, videos explaining what to look for in a broker. You should look for commission. How much is it? You should look for fees. You should look for any fees that, for example, uh, the bid and the ask data. You should look if there is no fee, because mo most of them are free. 
and you should look for um, uh, if you uh, invest for the long run is there a fee a monthly fee or annual fee you should look at this information because these fees some they they have fees other brokers they don't have fees so you should compare them you should you should make a comparison between four or five the big ones and then you take a decision which one you want okay so bill bill you can uh, you can send me your selection and i will tell you uh, for the fees when i see the fees page okay thank you very much muja for your question nasa nasa said uh, facebook price was quite overextended so correction was imminent now uh, it's it's just uh, you know it's not just because uh, Facebook needs a correction. What if the what if we have good news for Facebook? It could have a gap up. So uh, predicting what will happen in the future is a very very uh, something very very uh, uh, difficult to do. Okay, because if you take right now in each day of the market days there are stocks that go up and go down sometimes stocks going up and we have more gap up more gap up more gap up and you and you see it so why these uh, stocks have not a correction okay but understand that short sellers they don't care about a stock that it is going up or going down for example a stock that it is going down they take advantage and they always do a gap down a gap down a gap down because the news are bad always and they do the same thing each time but whenever there is good news you can have the stock can have a gap up so gap up a gap down it doesn't mean because of the of the stock has has to be uh, get a correction or or not a correction the problem is that it is just the news. When the news comes, it should have a surprise. So anyone uh, who doesn't want surprises, gap up or gap down, you can exit. That's it. It's so simple to do. But uh, a lot of people, they stay, okay, because you will never know. And this is, the, this is the good thing about the market. Sometimes you are very pessimistic and then you get a gap up and you will be happy with that okay so you can't just know which uh, cloud which twitter account which stocks did you trade this week so i have i have many stocks in my portfolio so i got two losses from facebook and twitter which is okay um i sent all my uh, my subscribers i said to them it's a, it's a it's a risky a risky time the earnings are coming either you stay or either you exit it's your choice but for me i always stay so i got two gap downs but it's okay they constitute part of my portfolio but they are not all because i don't i don't uh, have only two or three or four stocks always i have a lot of stocks so whatever whatever is bad is bad whatever it is good it is good uh thank you uh Muja, for your questions clown with twitter account do you the pattern which price gap down and start going up so heavily now it, it depends uh, cloud with Twitter account there are some techniques I use if there is a gap down sometimes the stocks go up sometimes is the beginning of uh, of a downtrend so for me I have some techniques to do in order to know and you should always try okay because if you don't try you begin just looking the stock can go up or can go down 
So if you decide to go to a stock, just do it and wait for a few days or a few weeks and see. Because it is a trade. It is like any other trade. Okay? If, if, it, if it succeeds at first, it can continue and become good. But if at the first time it's bad, it means you should exit and don't stay that much. Because this is the worst you can do is staying with a loser. Staying with a loser will take more money if it goes down. Uh, sometimes acquisitions... No, uh, see, acquisitions, I'm telling you, I have made videos about uh, um, AT&T and Time Warner. Now, AT&T acquires or acquired Time Warner. It's a big purchase. But the problem is that Time Warner goes up. It's a gap up and it goes up and uh, AT&T goes down. So it's very, it's very hard to, uh, to predict what will happen in the future. It can be the opposite. Okay? So, uh, so waiting for a stock to have acquisitions and you stay because of that, it's not, it's not a real strategy. The real strategy is if you are in a stock, if it goes up the first days and you are good, you continue. But if it is bad from the, from the first days, just exit the trade. That's why we put stop loss. Okay? That's why we put stop loss. If the trade doesn't work, why you stay more? Okay? Because in swing trading, we are not investing in the company. And we don't look for information about the company to trade. We trade just the price, okay? That's, that's the thing we do, always. Let me see. Um, Clown with Twitter account said, why IPOs are mostly targeted by short sellers? Now, uh, see, IPOs understand that the people who bought IPOs, they bought it before, okay? I will just, before we, uh, um, um, I will just explain this for you guys who, uh, who are interested in IPOs, which is the initial public offering, which are new companies. So I will, I will tell you this, um, let's, uh, let's, uh, see the explanation thing. Okay. Now, here, so private company, I have explained this, but I explained this for uh, the guys who are not aware about what is an IPO and here it's public. Now, when the company is private, private company, it means uh, they will not, not sell their shares. They don't sell. It means if you find the uh, A good company and it's not in the market yet it's not public it's not in the market uh, when you say public it means it is in the market and anyone can buy it any anyone can buy it okay anyone can buy it when it's public now when it's private when it goes to what we call IPO, which is initial public offering, this company will change to be public. So what they do, they create virtual shares, virtual shares, they have no value, virtual shares. Okay. And these virtual shares, 
uh, let's say they give them uh, a price let's say twenty dollars a share okay twenty dollars a share now the thing is brokers they ask their customers who are rich mostly they are rich the poor they don't they don't give you uh, these private shares they sell them to customers who are rich now what we call investors private investors before going to public now when it opens at 20 dollars okay most of the time most of the time it is six months most of the time six months the, according to the rules those customers cannot sell they cannot sell okay now when they sell the company private company sell at 20 dollars it's virtual before it was zero these millions of shares all this money the company they get this money that's why they want to go public now when they get this money this private company uh, will use that money to become bigger and bigger because of the money and they make more stores uh, they have more workers and so on so who is the who is the one who profits it's the private company profits from this big money that comes from nowhere okay so private company gets free money from the people and this company becomes big and those people who are here who are the the owners of this company they become mostly they become rich because of what they owe in the company someone has 10 percent has someone 20 percent of the company some it's like facebook uh, at, at first he becomes a billionaire because uh, the people they give him money but uh, before he was poor he has private company he's not that rich so six months sometimes the stock goes up sometimes it goes down but after six months if those customers they see the stock is going up they hold the stock and the stock will be going up let's say now it's 90 dollars after one year or two it's a good company so when it is a good company the people here they they just they just hold for their shares but after six months if the stock is going down it means most of the people they will sell either they make money or they don't make money they see that the company is not making money enough money for them so some people they sell okay sometimes the stock is twenty dollars at the at the first they just put this twenty dollars and it goes to thirty dollars so these people customers they make money just from the first day or for many days so this is what happened from private to public company okay and most of the ipos go down because uh, mutual fund they don't buy investors they don't buy because they don't know they don't know the history of this company so they need uh, two years or uh, five years just to know how the company is doing if it's doing good in terms of earnings if the earnings are good into one year two years three years four years and they become to buy this has happened to uh, facebook for example it was going down and then it goes up because of the earnings because of how much it makes okay so thank you very much for uh for your questions uh bill bill Musha said do you do another work or all you do stock trade thank you no i don't do another job i have only two things i do i trade in the stock market and i teach people that's the the main thing i do a uh, clone with twitter account said facebook w went uh, 164 and uh, 
180 before the market opens the gap down you are right yes because i i see um i see the chart <clears throat> uh, after the market close when it is nine or ten o'clock i see the chart and i see the numbers uh, Duna is a snap a good stock to buy as as I told you Duna if you if you have taken my training or so I don't give suggestions what to buy or what to sell but if you go uh, it's training into a range but if you go to training level 13 you study it and you try to see if it is good buy or no okay because no one knows so I have, for me, I have some criteria and whenever you buy a stock, you should just, if you have a, to decide to buy any stock, you should buy it and put stop loss. Because if things doesn't work, you exit the trade. Don't stay with a loser. And I put very strict criteria on when to exit a trade, especially when you are going uh, you are buying from the bottom, which means from the support line. The, the, that's why I have the training level 13. Uh, if you have my subscription, golden subscription, you can find it there. You can study it for free without paying for it. Okay? So thank you very much for asking. Cloud with Twitter account said, what's this bad news about Facebook? They could turn things around if they knew product or any another company and the stock start trend again. Yes, I understand, uh, as I told you before, that the news, it's just the reason to short. But it doesn't mean that the Facebook is losing money or it doesn't make money. This is not true. Facebook is always making money. That's why it becomes so strong. It's just they have, they have a cause to sell short. That's that's the main thing they do. When they when they short a stock because of the news, it's just because of the news and they take it as as a reason to short. But in real, if you go to Facebook, what did happen to it? Nothing. Facebook is running, it is making millions of dollars daily, it has made millions, uh, billions of dollars each year, so it is a good company, so there is no problem. Even with Twitter, it's the same thing. But this is just, uh, as I told you, it is just the news. And those short sellers who are mostly hedge funds, um, they make uh, this reason as a way, because they need, they need also help. Because understand that there are thousands of people, they are short sellers, they come when they see the prices going down and they do the same. They are traders, it means they see something going down, they short. If uh, they are beginning to make money, they exit at any time and they make some money, that's it. So some are very big, some are very small, some, you know, it depends on uh, what the people do. Uh, Oran, uh, Orange Z, how much money did you invest it? What, what do you mean by how much money? No, in my account is private. I don't tell you how much I traded or invested. And when you say invested, it means um, you invest in stocks. It means you you buy and you leave them for many years. I don't I don't really invest. I trade. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, Mersh pa Para. He say, hey, Karim and everyone. Thank you very much, uh, Mersh, for coming. And uh, Bill Bill Muja said, what's the average earning per year and swing trading 20, 30 or more? Thank you. No, I, I make around from 50 to 65. This is most of the years. This is what I make. Thank you for explaining. Easy to understand. Thank you, uh, uh, Bill Bill Muja. Thank you very much for all your questions. And uh, Muja, you can, as I told you, you can go to my website, take training level one for free, and you just understand how is my strategies and so on. Okay? So, as, as I told you, uh, this week, uh, 
because of the bad news in Twitter and Facebook, uh, we have gap downs, but understand that the whole market, it's not gap downs. You have gap ups, you have gap downs. Just uh, uh, Vincent told me that he bought two stocks and they go into gap ups. It means um, things always change in the, in the market. The market is not static. Each minute it is changing. Each second it is changing. Uh, bad news and good news, especially in earnings, make a difference in some stocks. But if you look at other stocks, there are some stocks that don't uh, respond to news. It means traders, they don't go to them because they it's not fluctuating too much. Okay? Uh, Mersh Para said, can you tell us a little bit about moving average crossover, please? Now, see. Um, I will uh, just uh, try to explain this moving average uh, by going to the, uh, to the explanation. So I will just explain. Um, explain this. Now, uh, w when you say moving average, just I give you an explanation. I don't use moving average, but I will just explain what is it. Now, when you say moving average, like 50 days, 50 days, you find that uh, you can change these 50 days, 200 days. Now, they just calculate 50 days close okay they calculate it is a point here this is the point now if the stock each day is going up you see the line is going up if if the other days are going down the the sum of these days it will be going down okay so this is what we call uh, moving moving average okay and some people they use this they use this to buy or to sell it's just a line like this so it is a sum up of this it is a sum up of the close close it means at 4 p.m okay it means it is two dollars today yesterday it was Three. The other days is two fifty. Okay, they they sum this up, and they make a line from it. This is automatic. It is automatic thing, and this change. Sometimes fifty days is going up, but if you take two hundred days, you see that the stock is going down like this. But uh, for 50 days, it's going up like this. But for 200 days, it's going down. So moving average is just a sum up of closes at 4 p.m. stocks. And they sum up plus, it means they sum this up, 50 closing from today. And they make a line. And this is used by investors. I don't use it my, myself. This is used by investors. It's just automatic thing. You can you can uh, use it, but it doesn't mean that if you use it, you are going to make money because of the fifty days or two hundred days. Okay, it is it is just to show you where the price is going. That's that's the good thing about it. Okay. So thank you, uh, Mersh Para, for your question about uh, moving average. Uh, Bill Bill Muja said, do the stock move volatile through Christmas or Black Friday and Thanksgiving? Now, uh, Bill Bill Muja, you, you want something that it is a rule. It means if there is Christmas, the stock go up. So if it is, if it is so easy like this, all the people will be waiting for Christmas or uh, 
Thanksgiving or Black Friday and they make money. This is stupid. The market doesn't follow this. Okay? There are some rules about the pattern of the trends the stock is going. So this you should study. It is based on price. It is not based on occasions like Christmas, Black Friday or Thanksgiving. It's not, uh, it's not going like this. So don't try uh, to have a sure trade. You, you are thinking you are still like a beginner thinking that you have something to have a sure trade that you make money. You don't lose. This is false. This is false because of the probabilities in trading. In trading, you should have losers and you should have winners. This is always. If someone tells you that he, he has never lost uh, money, this is not true and he is a liar in the market. Okay? Because no one knows the future. If we, we know the future, we will always be billionaires. All the people will become billionaires because we know which stock is going up, which is go stock is going down. Okay? So, uh, Bill Bill Muja, uh, try to study my training, which is based on probabilities. There is no sure things in the market and stop searching for a sure thing because there are other people. They will tell you they have ways to have a sure thing and you, you follow them and you give them the money and then you lose your trades and you lose your money. Okay? Because there are some people online they will tell you what you want to listen. For me, I will not tell you what you want to listen. I will tell you the truth about trading. And this is what happened. Okay? There is no sure thing. So when you trade, you trade with a stop loss. If the trade, if you buy a stock is going down against you, you should exit the trade. That's it. You shouldn't stay. Orang, Orang Z. How much shares did you buy each time you trade for one stock swing or day trading? Now, uh, Orang uh, Z, when you know how many shares, wh what the thing will do to you? Because a share, it could be $1,500 a share like Amazon, or it could be $1 share. So if I tell you 1,000 or 5,000, you will never understand uh, how much money I spent on the stock. So this question you are asking, it doesn't lead you to nowhere, okay? It doesn't lead you to nowhere and it's not an information that will help you trade. That's why I, wh why I am here. I am here trying to explain things for you in order to how to better trade and how you can make money from the market. So if you know this guy is uh, buying 1,000 shares or 500 shares or, or 10,000 shares, this will never help you get nothing. Thank you, Orang Z, for your question. Cloud with Twitter account said, the scare, the scare people about Facebook investors who bought along 170, they lost. You know, um, uh, for me, Facebook and Twitter, I lost my profits, but I didn't lose money. Okay, I lost, yes, the profits from 60, 160, or 170, or whatever. The profit I accumulated, I lost it, but it's, it's part of the game. You should accept what the market has given you because you can't change it. It's just a trade. I do a trade. You can make money. You can lose money. Sometimes you have the average. You don't lose. You don't make. But uh, this is the part of the game. Okay? Uh, thanks, uh, Merjpara, for, uh, for your questions. Karim, which indicators do you think are useful? I don't use indicators. So... Merjpara, a lot of people are using indicators because they don't have their own criteria. They don't have their own rules. For me, I have my own rules. I have my own criteria. 
So if you go and you try to practice with me, you begin to understand how the market moves, how the stock moves, and then you can make decisions, you can search for stocks, and you can make money. If the stock doesn't give you money, you just exit with stop loss and find another one. That is how the trade is going to be to be in the future. A trade is just a trade. Sometimes it's bad, sometimes it is good, but there are rules and probabilities that makes uh, you have good trades and this will make you money in the future. Now, indicators, I don't use indicators like MACD, RSI, uh, moving average, volume. I don't use all this stuff. I don't use them. Okay? So, a lot of people, they use them because they don't know anything else for me I see this the chart <coughs> and I can I can put my criteria and then I see if I can buy this stock yes or no okay so that's uh, for the indicators and for moving averages I know uh, most of the people who are beginners they begin to think that these indicators are strategies each one is a strategy by itself it means if you use RSI or you use uh, MACD or you use moving average or you use or using volume, all these are kind of indicators and they are strategies. Okay? Strategies that some people have done. Almost of them, they are based on price. But for me, I don't use them because I don't need them. I have my own stuff that I am using. Now, if you, you come and you go and you follow my strategies, you will understand later how I think and how the, the things are working. Okay? So, um, I hope you get uh, some stuff about what I, what I explained. Uh, Orangazi, do you teach one on one also? Please recommend some trading books. Yes, I teach uh, one to one if you can afford. Okay, so you can send me, um, you can send me an email and we can discuss this. Okay, and this is my, my website. Okay, this is my website. Now for books, uh, most of the time you can read books. Uh, I have a video called Recommended Books on Trading and Investing. You can just search in my channel and find the video and you watch it. But understand that you should first try to see what are you going to do. Are you going to do day trading, swing trading, or investing? So you try to focus on, on some books because of the style, what you are going to do in the future. Okay, Orang? Z, you should see yourself. Are you going to do day trading, or swing trading, or investing? Each one is different. It has its own rules. But understand in the, in the, when you are reading, they don't give you strategies, how to buy, how to sell. They give you most, oh, okay, you are going to do day trading. You can see, uh, for me, you can go to training level 10 and 11 and about stop loss, which is 6. You can take just these three training. One is about day trading techniques, how to, how to buy in the day trading, what are the things that you should look for, what time. And you have selling short. You get initiated how to sell short a stock when you see the news, when something is, is coming to a stock. And six is how to use a stop loss because always you should protect yourself when you are doing uh, day trading or swing trading. So you can go to my website and you can just get these three and that's it for you. 
because the other training are for um, uh, are for swing trading also so if you are not interested to follow the trends you are following to do day trading so you should you should do that okay and if you need my uh, if you go and check the uh, the training if you have questions please you have the email send me an email and I will help you out uh, uh, Zank uh, Z Orang Z because you are new here and I know you don't know a lot about what we are doing here but it's, it's very good uh, Bill Bill Muja is only way communication with you it is in email no you can uh, you can go to Facebook you can go to Facebook and you do the messenger and you send me a message from my page uh, let's see I give you my page uh, at least you can um, you can go to check send me a message Okay, let's see here. You have here. You have my uh, Facebook page, or you can uh, go to um, you can go to my my personal page, and you send me a message. Okay, here is my uh, personal page. You can send me because uh, see. If I talk to the people or I give my number understand that I have thousands of subscribers if each one uh, calls me in in uh, in a minute I will be just uh, answering people okay I will do nothing um, clown with Twitter account would you short stock I which is uh, I think Intel I guess Intel Sat Yes, I see the stock. It, so for me if I want to short a stock it should be a day trade it shouldn't be as I told you before there is a big risk a big risk when the stock is small or it is big a big risk when you short sell and you hold for the night so clown with Twitter account I'm telling you this thing from now to understand and try to listen to me because I don't want you to do uh, a stupid trade and you can lose a lot of money if you want to do selling short you should follow stocks and see their news in the morning whenever you see something going on to a stock and you begin to go down you can go and you short it if you are right with the with the direction you will be making money but don't hold the stock and you think it's going down and maybe next day there is a news and it goes it goes into a gap up and you lose a lot of money because because short selling is a limited loss a limited the more it goes up the more you lose and some people go into debt okay so clown with twitter account if you are doing uh, selling short do it in the day just uh, find stocks that you like that you like that you see maybe they are uh, going too much high maybe they go and they have a correction so you follow these stocks 
and whenever in the morning at 9 30 if things uh, you see that begin to go down you can short it now if it doesn't work you just exit very quick okay so this is day trading it means and you can uh, you can go and uh, check training level 11 11 and 12 okay 11 and 12 how to sell short of stock which is 11 and how to day trade which is 12 and you can just uh, see the techniques that i propose and you can do the trade in the day day trading another question from fleming Oro: what do you think about stock crash now what do you mean by stock crash it means is it uh, because of the news or is it because or mutual fund are selling off if they are selling off it means that the company is doing bad and something is going bad to the company okay so when you say what do you think i think nothing a stock is crashing what what what's the thing that you can get if you you want to sell short the stock you should come in the morning if it's going down you sell it short you make money that's what you should do but never stay the whole night the, never hold the, the night when something is going down because it can go up again and you lose a lot of money uh, Mersh Para said Kareem what is the difference between stop loss and trading stop losses I have never used the trailing one so before uh, Mersh Para I will just explain this at least for, for you guys who don't know the difference uh, between stop loss now stop loss and trailing stops okay now let's say the stock here is twenty dollars you bought the stock bought at a twenty and you put stop loss at 19.50 cent this is your stop loss now when you put stop loss this stop loss stays there until you change it if the stock goes up maybe and you want to change it so this is manual thing is manual so if the stock goes let's say let's say in the future the stock goes like up like like up let's say now it is 40. now you since you see the stock is 40 you don't want to lose all these profits so 950 you change it here after five weeks or six weeks let's say you put it 38 this is your new stop loss this is your new new stop loss which is 38. if uh, if the stock from 40 goes to 38 you exit at 38 and you make 18 dollars profit for each for each share okay now what is the training stops training stops is like this we we do the same example you bought the stock at 20 dollars 20 dollars you bought the stock sorry for the handwriting now you put stop loss at 1950 as trailing stop so what does it mean trailing stops here what does it mean it means you ask your broker to change up the stop loss this 50 cent each time the stock goes up let's say the stock goes to 20 50 cent now when it when it reach when it reach 50 cent here today for example the stock your your trading stop changes to be to be let's let's take this just to make sure you understand now 
your stop loss here it becomes twenty dollars as your new stop loss it means the more each 50 each 50 cent going up the stock the training stop change now let's say this is the first day for example you bought it today tomorrow is 2050 let's say the stock goes down to 20 dollars it, it lose it lost 50 cent since your stop loss is 20 you exit the trade okay so this is what we mean training stops training stop it goes 50 cent up and it stops at always 50 cent now let's say let's say you i just give you an example another example okay just uh, to make sure you understand let's say you bought the stock at 20 dollars this is where you bought your stop loss is 19 dollars it means you have one dollar as a trailing stop trading stop at one dollar it means if the stock is 21 your stop loss will be 20. if it goes to 22 your stop loss will be 21. these are the stops 19 20 21 if the stock is 22 okay now for me you ask me are you going to do this stop loss or training stops I don't use training stops because this will make me exit very quick if you use if you use trailing stops you will exit always early and you will not make any money from uh, trends uh, in a trend you should never use this uh, training stops okay so hope I answer your questions uh, about stop loss and trailing uh, stops because I, as I told you uh, I don't uh, I don't use trailing stops uh, Sami Caprio how are you Sami Caprio I haven't seen you for a long time how large a, a monitor do you recommend for Charles does the size matter what do you use hello desktop two monitor or one larger now uh, listen Sami for me i use my my monitor which is um, an average monitor it's just it's just you want to see the chart it doesn't it doesn't matter how big it is if you have a laptop if you have a, even if you have a, a cell phone or a big cell phone you can use it but for me it depends on how good it means how you accept the thing for me i don't like cell phone so I don't trade from my cell phone never because I have time I have time I sit on my desk I see my monitor I see the chart and that's it so this is good for me but to other people you can use a, a laptop or you can use a, um, uh, whatever thing you uh, or a tablet okay you can use whatever you want it doesn't mean that you have uh, two large or three large uh, um, monitors for what why do you know why do you use two or large try not to uh, try not to follow these guys uh, on TV or some they have a lot of now those they they follow many stocks at the same time so they need they need two or three monitors because they have two or three stocks at the same time and these are big traders and they know what they are doing but for you you don't need you don't need two or three monitors only one monitor is good if you like it thank you very much okay uh bill bill uh bill bill muja how much your status you have changed compared year to year i'm telling you i'm making between 50 percent to 65 percent this is what i make uh clown with twitter account which bad do you consider is bad news what's bad do you consider is bad news for a company 
Now, most uh, Quran with Twitter account, when the company announces something, especially when it is bad, it's the earnings. Mostly it is the earnings uh, and the sales or the production of an item they are producing or they are not making mini sales. This is the main thing what they say. Okay? But for me, you know, it's just news. It could be national news. It could, it could not be company news. Also, it could be an industry news. An industry gets hit. Okay? Mutual funds, they took their money from uh, some industries and the industries, they go down. So it doesn't mean that it is really a company. Sometimes it is national news. Sometimes it is international news. There is war. There is a threatening. There is something like that. Okay? That's why uh, some people, they go to short the stock, whatever news is. They don't care about what kind of news. They just short sell. That's it. Thank you, uh, Mersh Para. Uh, thank you uh, for your questions about stop loss and uh, trading stops. And, uh, and for me, as I told you, I don't use trading stops because the way I follow stock, it's different. I don't use uh, trading stops because trading stops, it makes you exit early. Take any stock. Put, uh, la let's say, take any, ch any chart with a very, very long a very very long trend and try from the beginning and make your training stop you will find yourself that you exit very quickly not at the end Fleming Oro said please tell uh, tell me about steel industry and trade war impact y you know see understand that when some stocks are going up it means there is a buyer it doesn't mean that has uh, there is a war or there is no war or there is a shortage in the market so just understand that if something is going up it means there is a buyer for us we follow the price we don't follow what's going on to the market because if you see the market news, you will find thousands of news each day. You will be confused about any stock. But if you see that the steel, let's say the steel industry is going up, you, okay, you just go and buy stocks in the steel industry. You don't need to know there is a reason for that. Sometimes there is no reason. And you see stocks are going up. For example, each day. When the stock is going up, is there a reason? No. The, is there news? No. So why the stock is going up? Because the stocks doesn't go because of the news. Because of the buyer. And the stocks go down is just because of the seller. This is you should understand in order to understand how the market moves. Okay? Uh, thanks, uh, Sami Caprio. Thanks very much for your questions. So, um, uh, try not to link these things together, like, uh, for example, because of there is a war, the stock market will be impacted, uh, there is an impact on the stock market. Sometimes there is, sometimes there is not. Okay? The stock was doing good, and in North Africa, we have a lot of wars. In Libya... We have in Middle East, we have a war, but our stock market is doing good. So there is no relation. Okay? It's just because people, they don't want to sell short the market right now. They are waiting for other occasions to do that. Okay? So uh, thank you very much for all your questions. And I have uh, very active, very active students. Thank you very much for always asking questions and trying to understand what's going on. And for me, I'm trying to do my best to explain. And for those who are new, you can take uh, my new... Uh, you can take the um, training level one. It's for free. You can just take it and see yourself if it is good for you. Now, as always, if you have a question and you don't ask right now and you forgot, you can always ask me later. 
by uh, sending me an email I am always there check any video and uh, uh, you find my email and my website always uh, you can uh, search my uh, channel if you are looking for something special special if you don't find send me an email and I will try to do my best to make videos about that and uh, I think it's uh, one hour 50 minutes it's very good so uh, guys if you have more questions uh, please ask we are at the end of this uh, session and because you ask many questions uh, the session will be longer or be shorter it's just because of the questions that you ask and I am very grateful for you guys asking uh, a lot of questions and uh, for the general market it's trending into a range there is no new information about the market so uh, stocks are going always up and down um, gap up is always uh, is always in the market gap down is always in the market so it depends where you are are you in a good stocks or bad stocks and this you should trade yourself uh, Nazdi Nanucci said thank you as always Karim for your time and thank you for sharing your knowledge I have been following you since 2015 Thank you very much, uh, Nazdul Anucci. And uh, it's just because your support and your asking questions that I continue with the channel. And it's, it's very good to have friends and to have uh, people to talk to and to exchange ideas about the market, about stock market. Stock market is always there uh, in summer, in winter, or in, in each uh, part. As someone told me, uh, you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't buy in summer you should sell in summer i say no this is old stuff that you read in books it doesn't uh, go anymore uh merch pa merch para said one last one as an example do you think we can follow a pair of stocks to spot a trend like fang no uh, see i'm telling you don't follow tv if you follow TV, you will have problem because Merchpar, think about it. TV is for entertainment. It's not for business. Business is for the companies to advertise for themselves, for you. Now, this thing that you see, uh, that you see about uh, Kramer, you know, it just he he uh, he took uh, the five good stocks in this 10 years 20 years and they say oh this is the good now you see that facebook and twitter have a big loss are you going to follow to follow this guy more no so understand that you should decide for yourself what to what you what to choose as stocks okay and don't follow people who don't teach you anything because in tv they will ask you buy this sell this hold this but they don't give you why they don't teach you something they will give you something like a, a company yes company uh, information company information you can get it by yourself you don't need anyone else you go for example to any company for example you go to uh, Facebook you want to see information about the company you find the kind of information you don't need anyone okay and you don't need anyone to ask you to buy this stock or to sell this stock. You should, there are 24,000 stocks in the stock market. Mutual funds, ETFs, and so on. So the market is not five stocks. And if someone tells you, uh, you buy these stocks and you will be a winner, no. These stocks, like Facebook and Twitter, they have gone down 20% and if you have bought them maybe you have lost 20 percent of your money it's, it's too much money okay so try not to follow people on tv tv is for entertainment if you you want entertainment you can go watch a movie uh, you can have a weekend trip you can uh, watch uh, you can go watch a play in theater uh, you can go swimming you entertain yourself as, as you like or listen to music but uh, uh, 
to to just to listen someone to ask you he asks you to buy this stock or to or to sell this stock this is too much and you will you will see this in the future whenever you buy according to uh, to uh, recommendations most of the time you will be losing money because these guys they don't know the future neither i neither you neither anyone in the market knows what will happen in the future tomorrow i'm telling you okay so because someone if he if he knows the future uh it will be it will be so good if you know the future but the future no one will know about it and don't think about it and don't search that the, that someone will find uh will find someone <laughs> who knows uh bill bill muja it was nice talking to you you have a good night thank you very much uh, muja as i told you uh, check the website and uh, training level one and ask questions whenever you have okay so uh, thank you very much uh, guys for asking all these questions and uh, if you if you have questions maybe tomorrow or next day or the other days and uh, you you shouldn't wait for me until next week for this uh, live session it's always on the same time so please ask me questions send me emails at least uh, uh, i can answer you on time without waiting okay so thank you very much uh, guys and hope to see you again uh, next week thank you very much and see you next time